Hey, what's up? This right here, that's my parents' fridge. I'm about to rate it right now and see what good foods and bad foods they have. Let's take a look. Hey, what's going on guys? Tyler here from garagewarrior.com. Today at my parents' house, standing in front of their fridge. And I had some good questions about what foods are good, what foods are bad, organic, grass-fed, blah, 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 all this confusing stuff, right? So I figured, what better to do than go to my parents' house while they're both gone, open up their fridge, rate it, pick out what's good, what's bad, and then post it online, all right? Sounds good? Let's do it. Here we go. Opening up the fridge right now, and we're just gonna get started kind of digging through the basics here, all right? So we got organic, low-fat milk, all right? Um, Milk to me is a personal thing. I think that some people do well with milk, some people don't. I don't do well with milk. I think organic is much better than just plain milk. But ideally what you wanna see is, you wanna see grass fed, right? So you wanna see grass fed milk, grass milk, something that comes from grass. Because it changes the entire profile of the animal's milk, all right? So if you can get grass fed, if you can get grass fed raw, even better. This, eh, we'll put it on the in between, not so bad, all right? Here we go, let's dig into something else here. All right, IBC root beer. Obviously, it's a treat. You gotta have stuff like this every once in a while. So I'm gonna give this one an A plus because it's not a crappy root beer, it's good root beer, all right? Let's go in the back here. Propel Zero. Zero calories. Replenish vitamins. Energize. Protect antioxidants. Sugar-free. So, I don't know about you, but I don't trust anything that has an ingredient label that reads like one page of the Bible, all right? So, Propel Zero, meh, maybe not so much. Drink water instead, all right? What do we got in this bag right here? Oh, that's not so bad, huh? So I'm a big fan of the meat. Adele's, Adele's is a good company. Fully cooked, all natural sausage, all right? Well, that's pretty cool. Chicken, apple, sausage, big fan of this stuff right here. Great for breakfast, one of the best breakfasts you can eat for protein, just having some sausage right in the morning. It's gonna reduce your sugar cravings. Uh, the only thing that can make this better is if they could get it from like organic chickens. But this is good, I know the company Adele's, fantastic company, not anything to, to worry too much about. Strawberries, gotta love it. Gotta get that good fruit, especially berries, high in antioxidants. Definitely one of my favorite fruits because they're low glycemic. The only thing you want to make sure of is that you wash the strawberries because they're one of the highest pesticide strawberries. And try to get organic, which my mom did. Good, good job, mom. All right, let's dig in some more. So yogurt, yogurt. Uh, Oiko's traditional Greek yogurt. Well, they're trying. I think that Greek yogurt is one of those things that so many people started talking about right when it came out because it was high protein yogurt. Now, just like the milk, dairy is very... Uh, individual. So if you tolerate it, then yogurt might be okay for you. Try to get a good variety of it, a high quality variety. What I don't like about this is this raspberry. And so when we flip this label around, we look at it, we say dietary carbohydrate sugars, 17 grams of sugar added to this healthy yogurt, right? So that takes your, uh, what do we got here? 11 grams of protein and just throws it under the table because now you pretty much ruined your yogurt because you got sugar. So if you get it, get it plain, all right? That's a huge deal, get it plain. Margarita mix, hey. What else we got here? Apple, gotta love the apple, that's simple, all this other stuff. And then we got some eggs back here, I wanna talk about eggs. Eggs next to the dog food. Uh, organic eggs, this is a big giant package of organic eggs, it's good. Or Like I said, just with the milk, organic is better than inorganic, just regular store-bought eggs. So it's a step up. You gotta realize these things are ascending, they're a hierarchy where you can get just crappy store-bought eggs, then you can get like, cage-free eggs, and you can get organic cage-free eggs, but the number one egg you wanna get is what's called pastured eggs, okay? And that means the chicken was out eating worms and bugs in the dirt all day on a pasture, all right? And that means the egg yolk is full of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and healthy fats, whereas if you don't have that, it's not gonna be as full of that stuff. So, pretty good job with organic eggs, but I'm gonna see if I can get my mom to switch to uh, pastured eggs here in the near future. All right, let's just do like one or two more here. Oh snap, I gotta address this one. You gotta love the pound container of organic baby spinach. One of the easiest ways to get tons of vitamins in is to throw this bad boy into a Vitamix or make a big giant salad and chow this stuff down. And dude, this is cheap. If you guys aren't eating enough vegetables, get some spinach in your diet. Get more Popeye style, all right? All right, let's do one more. Let's dig in. Extra lean ham, all right. You know what, from a macronutrient ratio breakdown, this stuff is not too bad. The only thing I'd be concerned about is 
you know, what, what really came with this ham? What was this ham, you know, wh how was this pig treated? I'm a big fan of humanely treated, natural, natural, natural meats. This doesn't look really natural and whatnot, but like I said, from a macronutrient perspective, you can lose a lot of fat eating something like this on some gluten-free bread or just having it as a snack or chopping it up, mixing with your pastured eggs. All right, I could do this all day. There's a bunch of things in here, but as you can see, everybody's fridge has good stuff and bad stuff in it. The trick is try to have more good stuff in it than bad stuff in it each and every month, each and every week that goes by, all right? And if you can take that one bad thing that's in your fridge all the time and you can take it out of that fridge and you can replace it with something good because you ultimately are just a culmination of the habits that you have right now. And if you can change those habits by getting one bad piece of food out and putting one good piece of food in, then over the long haul, you're gonna change your body and you will look, feel, and perform your best, all right? If you guys have any questions for me, click the button that says Ask Tyler a Question and fill out that form and I will make a video for you just like this to help you look, feel, and perform your best. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like it, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.